The tech industry is hot right now. In fact, Forbes rates the US tech market as the fastest growing with a growth rate of 6.1%. But there's a disconnect. Colleges are having a hard time providing skills to fuel the industry. A company called Udacity has offered a solution, a nano degree. A nano degree promises to teach students cutting edge skills to succeed in the tech market. With a focus on self-teaching, I went through the front-end developer course, and I'm here to give you an in-depth review of the product. Let's take a look. Each nano degree program offers curriculum on cutting-edge technology pertaining to the nano degree of your choosing. Before starting a program, you'll see the recommended skill level that you'll need to complete a degree. Skill levels range from beginner, intermediate, to advanced. Courses are typically taught over several short YouTube videos, less than 10 minutes, and after some sections a quiz will be given. Now Udacity has a clever way of showing their videos layered so they can actually point to their code. Now it may seem arbitrary, but it makes a huge difference. And currently, Udacity is the only organization that I've seen that provides this teaching style. It's highly stressed that you need to do a lot of research on your own to pass the courses and fully understand the material. You'll become a master at Google searches and reading code documentation. I actually found myself using other platforms as well, including Pluralsight, Udemy, Treehouse, YouTube videos, and books in order to supplement my learning with Udacity. Sometimes there's even supporting material left in the instructor's notes for a specific lesson. And even if you're not part of the Nano Degree program, you can go through the courses for free. Each Nano Degree project is designed to simulate a real-world situation. Of course, this is backed up by theory, but the beauty of the degree is that you'll be able to have a list of projects to prove that you know the skills that you were taught. When you enter a Nano Degree, you're given access to project materials which aren't covered in the free material. Then you use the information that you've learned to complete a project. While projects are self-paced and can be completed in any order, there is a suggested timeline. And I'd be cautious about the estimated timeline. Everyone works differently and has a different level of skill entering a nano degree. If you miss a deadline, no worries, you'll simply be pushed back to a later timeline. This project-based approach provides students with something that is real, something that is made with the actual skills studied, and created by the student themselves. How many online learning programs can offer that? When a project is finished, it's reviewed for code quality. The grader will usually leave helpful notes on how to improve the project and what needs to be corrected for resubmission if it doesn't meet standards. Speaking of resubmissions, expect to resubmit a lot. There are no B's or C's here, only pass or fail. But failing isn't a bad thing. Receiving feedback is how you learn, and the insight from graders can be invaluable. And you're allowed as many resubmissions as you need. When you resubmit, you might find that the project is graded by a different reviewer with different opinions. And that's all right. In fact, I prefer having my projects graded by two different reviewers in order to find new problems and solutions. In addition to reviewer feedback, there is a wide range of support that I wish I took advantage of sooner. One-on-one -on -one coaching is offered where a coach will go over your project and provide you with some useful advice to help you when you're stuck. Every coaching session is recorded and the transcript is emailed to you for future reference. There's a forum where you can ask questions regarding your project and aside from having other students help you out, moderators and coaches are there as well. Sometimes your question might have already been asked by another student. I was actually surprised how often this was the case and sometimes while it didn't address my question specifically, I was able to adapt it for my need. In addition to the main objectives, Udacity provides optional courses and support to help you land a career. This includes resume reviews, GitHub profile reviews, and LinkedIn profile reviews, and even more than that. While I didn't take every project, the ones that I did take made a significant impact on improving my personal brand, specifically LinkedIn and GitHub courses. Udacity offers these services for a monthly price of $199 a month. If you graduate within 12 months, you'll receive a 50% refund off of your tuition. Definitely a motivator for pushing yourself, and it's quite possible. For most degrees, there's a plus option also available. This option costs $100 more, coming in at $299, and provides the same support as the first option. However, if you complete the course, you'll be guaranteed a full tuition refund if you're not hired within six months. A sweet deal, but remember, you must keep up your end of the bargain and fully complete the program. So is it worth it? Well, that's a tricky question to answer. It really depends on how you approach the program and what you expect to get out of it. While you can go into this without any experience, I highly suggest that you have some experience with what you're going to study. I myself had three to four months of HTML and CSS and a little bit of JavaScript underneath my belt before I decided to take the plunge. However, that's not the standard. In fact, there is no standard. I've seen seasoned developers go into this as well as people that are brand new. Some took three months, others took 11 months. I personally took seven months to complete the course, but I had a few personal projects and I also learned video editing and elements of design. I think you should go into the program without the expectation of learning something new, but improving upon what you already know. I actually made the mistake of only learning a little bit of JavaScript and had to spend a lot of time on basic stuff before I could even approach a project. But I did get it done and I really had to dig deep to find the answer. 
That's the beauty of the program. In order to complete a project, you really have to know your stuff. So the goal of a nano degree is to improve your salary or a new promotion or improve your own personal tech startup. Is it worth it? In my experience, yes, it's absolutely worth it. I've applied for a handful of jobs and I've gotten responses back. And I've even turned down some of those offers. But a word of warning, you may not get a job in what you specifically studied for. However, the skills are a way to get into the tech industry. Because of the nano degree, I'm able to apply to companies that I would have never thought of applying for before. But it's more than just that, it's also personal branding. And Udacity does have courses to help you out with that. The important thing to take away is that sometimes there's not an answer for what you're trying to look for. You're gonna have to find the answer on your own. And that's okay. That's not just a nano degree, that's also in life. So if you're serious about a career in tech, have some experience with what you're going to study, and are willing to put in the time and effort, go ahead and enroll. It's definitely worth it, and you'll be so glad you did.